All right, so tell me what you think of this. A question that often pops up in the Laravel community revolves around this idea of, well, if I'm a newcomer, should I learn PHP first or should I skip over it and jump into Laravel? And here's what I find interesting. Uh, traditionally, in the olden days, back in my day, uh, it was universally agreed. Well, of course, you learn the core language first, right? You gotta learn how to crawl. You gotta learn how to walk before you can start running. And um, I agree with this. However, if you see these questions crop up, uh, often they get many, many responses. Um, community members, PHP developers, Laravel staff and core team and package developer, they all uh, will give their thoughts. And what I find interesting is frequently they will say, oh, you know what? Laravel is PHP, right? So if you want, if you're a newcomer, perhaps you should just start with Laravel and you will kind of figure both out at the same time. And hmm, I'm trying to figure out what I think about this, right? I have a lot of thoughts. And as you can imagine, I work in the education space. I specifically um, teach this stuff. And so it's interesting to me, right? You shouldn't be thinking about this at all. But me, it's my industry. It's my space. And I'm always curious what the best way to onboard somebody is. Okay, so we're going to work this out together. You're going to help me. Should folks learn PHP or Laravel first? And we're going to assume that this imaginary person, we're gonna, uh, we'll call him Joe or Jane, this person knows some HTML, they've learned some CSS, but that's the extent of it, right? They don't know anything about um, any backend language. And that's really important, right? If you're coming from the Ruby world, but you don't know PHP, well, that's a very different thing than if you literally know nothing. If you don't know nothing, uh, these are just different conversations. So what we're talking about right now is literally a newcomer. They know the basics, they know how to make an H1 tag, and now they're ready to make their websites dynamic. Okay, we got it, we're on the same page. So, the argument for learning Laravel first. Here's what I'm gonna say to the Laravel team, I'm on to you. I know what you guys are doing, and I know it is to your direct financial interest that folks skip over PHP and they just dive right into Laravel without seeing what else is available. I see what you're doing. Uh, I'm just kidding. There's probably a little bit that. There's probably that much that, but I think actually in reality, uh, most of them are just saying, you know what? You can become overwhelmed when you're learning uh, vanilla PHP. Even something as simple as like, the process of securely connecting to a database, it is way simpler than it was back in the day, uh, back in the PHP 4, MySQL underscore connect days. Um, there were endless tutorials that were rife. Is that the right word, rife? Uh, with uh, errors and vulnerabilities and SQL injection uh, opportunities. It's not as bad. Uh, as back then, but still, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. If you told me right now, just write out the full process for um, creating a connection to a database and uh, updating some records, you know what? It might take me a minute. I've been detached from that for so long. I'd have to relearn the API and it's just a little bit, I don't know, cumbersome. So I get the arguments and I was just teasing with the Laravel team. Uh, I get the arguments that would it be best to skip over some of the more uh, verbose aspects of PHP and immediately dive into a platform where you see instant results? Uh, there's a lot to that, right? So I think that is that is a feather in Laravel's cap. Even if you don't know anything, you could probably follow a tutorial or work with AI, work with AI, unbelievable. Uh, you could follow a tutorial, you could watch a Laracast video, uh, or go through the Laravel bootcamp and maybe get something on the page pretty quickly. And you know what? I feel like that is like one of the most important things, right? We need to have a term for that. Like, uh, you know, when you are measuring uh, performance for websites, there's uh, this idea of like, um, and I'm not even gonna tell you what the term is right now because I can't remember, but it's something along the lines of like time until first paint, time until you instantly see something on the page. Uh, some of you know exactly what that term is. I do not, and I'm not looking it up. 
but I feel like we need something along those lines for learning. Time until your first win, right? And in this world, I think the first win is like, you write some code and you see it in the browser, right? This is the amazing thing about learning HTML first. You, and we've all experienced this. You like create your first H1 tag. You don't know what H1 means. You don't know that H is heading. You just know it makes it big and bold. So you create H1, hello world. You reload the browser and bam, you instantly see it, right? That, that was the moment for me when I'm like, okay, I get it. This is cool. And then you learn like, okay, here's paragraph tags. Here's how I create a list. Like the, the response, uh, the, the, what do we want here, Jeffrey? The time between each win is very rapid at that stage, right? Instant results. Uh, and we want that when you switch over to any language, right? Any backend language. So I'm thinking this through here and you think through it with me as well. You already have an opinion, but let's set our opinions aside and really try to think of this. Time to first win in PHP. I open a file, it can be simple HTML and I can still echo hello world. And I can load the browser and I'm gonna see a response. That's really cool. Um, but then when I wanna do anything else, it just gets tricky, right? So with vanilla PHP, I can link between pages, I can have some dynamic content, I can play around with, you know, the, the usual 101 stuff, create an array and then loop over the array and render it. In the browser. That's all very helpful. But if I ever want to do anything practical, if I actually want to begin the process of building a website, which will always consist of like connecting to a database and creating tables and querying against those. I mean, most applications are just CRUD, right? We want to imagine they are more than that, but they're just CRUD. Uh, Laracast is 100% CRUD. Think how many applications are just CRUD. Your invoicing app is CRUD. Your CMS is crud, your contacts list is crud. Anyways, how quickly can we onboard a person into building their crud app? Um, Laravel is gonna be quicker. But <clears throat> I am sensitive to the idea of like, the rest of the PHP world hearing folks in the Laravel community say, hey, just skip over that. Just start with Laravel, come on board and then you'll figure it out. I'm, I'm sensitive to them saying, you sure about that? Really? I see what you're doing. And I see it too. Um, but I'm trying to give the devil its due. Not to call Laravel the devil by any stretch. Is there value in it? Uh, and is this something I should recommend? And I, I keep coming back to crawl before run. Uh, even if you can find your first win if you start with Laravel. I am just so concerned about um, the overwhelm factor. People being introduced to not just a new language, not just new syntax, not just a new way of doing things, but also a, a very big framework, a very big community, uh, and hundreds of files the second they install that um, project. Can they figure it out? Um, maybe. Maybe. I've learned not to underestimate people. I, I think there's often this tendency to protect the newcomers. This is something I've seen endless times uh, over the years, uh, and I fight against it. And I feel myself leaning towards that view a little bit here. So I want to be careful. I want to check myself. I never want to fall into this trap of thinking like, they can't figure it out. I know what I'm doing, but the newcomers, they're going to be overwhelmed. And they, like, mm. People, people are smarter than we give them credit for. They can figure this stuff out. They know when they hit a roadblock, uh, a roadblock, they know when they hit a roadblock to take a step back and like, okay, I need to learn a little bit more about this. If they're working with routing and they just can't figure out um, even the syntax, like maybe it's where we have route colon colon get. And the newcomer's like, what are, what are those two colons? I learned how to create a variable. I learned how to create a class. I know about the little dash uh, greater than sign, the arrows, but I've never seen the colon, the two colons. What on earth is that? You know, I could say, well, they're gonna be overwhelmed by that because they haven't learned the basics yet. And now we're throwing them into all of this stuff they don't understand. Well, they're gonna figure it out, right? They're gonna Google or they're gonna ask AI. And they're gonna say, what are those two colons? And then they're gonna get this perfect um, 
explanation for what it is, and then they will go from there. So we want to be careful about underestimating just how smart people are. However, we also don't want to needlessly overwhelm them. And there's just something to be said for, let's get started and get our feet wet and figure out what a variable is and figure out what an array is and learn the building blocks of a framework, just build our way up, learn the building blocks so that then when you do switch over to any framework and maybe it's Laravel, maybe it's not, but when you do, you're gonna browse around these files and instantly feel like, okay, there's a lot here I don't understand, but you know what? I kind of get it. I see what's going on here. I've created files before. I know why this file was extracted. I know what a class is. I know what a controller is because I sort of built my own makeshift controller in my project. Oh, views, models. Okay, the model generally is business logic, but also just kind of a, an abstraction for querying my database. Okay, I got that. Views, I created my own view. That's sort of where the template goes and it receives the data. Okay, I kind of know what I'm doing here, right? That's what I like. However, let's go back to the other side one more time. Is there value in throwing somebody into the deep end of the pool and just saying, you know what? You're gonna figure this out. Just play around, ask questions, have some wins. And you know what? You will catch up to anything you don't instantly understand. There's something to that as well. You know, I look at my young son, he's almost one. He will be one next month at the time of this recording. And yes, like I, when we we're teaching him how to talk, we're teaching him how to communicate and we're not doing this like we start with the building blocks. Uh, we're just asking him to say words, right? And sometimes he starts to say the word and he doesn't know what the word is, right? But he catches up, right? He will say what we say and then slowly you can just tell he starts connecting the dots like, oh, oh, yeah. When he says, yeah, which is kind of cute, he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he says, yeah, that means he's saying, okay, yes, I want that, please. Um, if, if he says no, which he hasn't said no yet, but when he does, he will get that as well, right? He will understand, even if he learned the word before he knew what it meant, he will catch up. And I wonder if that is the same argument for learning any kind of framework first get some wins, figure it out, go into the deep water, right? Like the most I have ever learned in my life is when I dove or dived, whatever one is correct there, into the deep end and I felt like I was drowning and I felt like everyone understood it except me. But what ends up happening is I start paddling and I start researching and I have some late nights and I catch up. Most people would agree that's when you're learning the most. And maybe there's a Maybe there's something to that for newcomers. I don't know. So this is something I am genuinely thinking about. And like I said, you should not be thinking about this at all, except for this video. And when we're done with this video, you don't think about it again because it's irrelevant to you. But it is very super relevant to me. And I'd like to know, how do I handle this? So tell me your thoughts. Um, if you're on YouTube, ask a comment below. If you're at Laracast.com, Ask a comment below. If you're watching this on X, leave a leave an X, whatever it is. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Way. This is the Laracast Snippet. I'll see you next time. Bye.